Welcome back to Kid Week Day 3. You guys ready? Are you excited? Let's see if you're ready. I'm going to say kid, you say week. You ready? Kid! 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 One more time, kid! All right, now we're ready to go. Guys, I love discovering new things. But did you know, when you take a closer look at something that you may already be familiar with, you can actually learn a little bit more about that thing. That's what we're gonna talk about today. But right now we're gonna play a game, are you ready? So you need paper and a pen, go get it now. We'll wait. Go, what are you waiting for? All right, you got your paper and pen? Okay, so set that to the side. Now we're gonna put some things on the screen here. I want you to focus. I want you to focus on what's on the screen and try to remember every picture you see, okay? Once we're done with that, you're gonna pick up your pen and paper and you're gonna write down every single picture you can remember. Ready? You understand? Go! Awesome job focusing, guys. How many did you get? I hope you got more than I did. I have a little trouble focusing. Right now, I want you to get up for some worship, and I bet you can't dance the entire time the songs are going on. Like maybe one of these? Huh? Huh? Maybe one of those? Let's go, let's see it. You spoke one word and the dark became light. I believe it, I believe it, yeah. You spoke my name and my heart came to life. I believe it, I believe it, yeah. I wanna sing about it, I wanna scream and shout it.
Day three. What's up, guys? Day three. Game time. How are we doing? Are we doing good? I'm good. Good. Yeah, yeah we're doing good here. All right, go ahead and go to your Kid Week kit. Grab your day three game supplies. Uh, we'll give you a minute to do that. Pause the video, whatever you need to do, and we'll tell you how to play this game. <laughs> The game today is going to be putting together some puzzles. It's going to be someone you know, possibly one of your friends, maybe not, I hope so. Mm -hmm. We'll see. If you want to make it messy, you can do what we did, put it in your pie tin from yesterday, put some whipped cream, shaving cream, whatever, so you have to fish them babies out. Yeah, definitely do that. Yeah, that makes it a lot better. Parents, go ahead and grab a towel or whatever you need to keep it clean. <clears throat> uh, and if you're by yourself, see how many puzzles you can put together before the timer ends, okay? If you have a partner, race against them and see how many ooh, puzzles. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. So, we're about to play it right here. Are y'all ready? I think we are. Are y'all ready? Woo! Awesome. Three, two, one, go. Game time. Come on, come on, come on. Quickly. Is it a map? your puzzles awesome that's great if not try again it's virtual kid week you know we don't have a schedule <laughs> run it back <laughs> Welcome back guys, what did you think of that game? 
Hey, you got a little, little something right there. Yeah, almost. Okay, you got it. Good job. All right, you guys ready to worship? I think you know these songs. Before we sing, let's give it up for our Kid Week crew. Kid Week crew. Kid Week crew. Come on. Kid Week crew. Kid Week crew. Let's go. This is my faith, this is my focus All of my days, I know where my hope is I live it loud, I shout the chorus Because I know, oh you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see, to see I will trust in you, I will believe and keep on looking, looking, looking to you For where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, looking, looking to you I'll fix my eyes on you This is my focus All of my days I know where my hope is I live it loud I shot the chorus Because I know Oh, you're always for us And even when it's hard for me to see To see I will trust in you I will believe, believe And even when it's hard for me to see To see I will trust in you I will believe And keep on looking for where I'm going, knowing you go there too I'll keep on looking, keep on looking, looking, looking to you I'll fix my, I'll fix my eyes, eyes. To 
show the world the love of God. Fearfully and wonderfully created, we're all masterpieces to show the world the love of God. Fearfully and wonderfully created, we're all masterpieces to show the world the love of God. I will walk in the plans that you have for me. I will follow, trust and obey. I will walk in the plans that you have for me. I will follow, trust and obey. No matter where this journey may lead me, I know you are good, you are good always. I will walk in the plans that you have for me. I will follow, trust and obey. Okay, guys, now it's time for our Bible story time. So what I need you to do is I need you to really focus on today's message because it's going to be awesome. And today we're talking about how Jesus is the Messiah. And so if you're not paying attention, you're going to miss it. And so really focus, really pay attention. Listen, also, let's put away distractions and take a look at the screen. Yeah, mm, not seeing it. Uh, maybe if you turn it sideways. Mm. Nope. Oh, hey, Kellen here, and I'm looking at an optical illusion. If you look at it a certain way, you're supposed to see a 3D picture pop out. Here, see if you can see it. Do you see it? Hey, it's a dragon eating a donut! No, it's a baseball player using a rubber chicken as a bat! It's just a bird! A normal bird! Yeah, I still don't see it. Okay, but I also have this one here. This is cool. So the lines look like they're moving, but they're actually not. It's playing a trick on our eyes. The way these lines are put together gives them the illusion of movement. Crazy, right? We've been talking this week about taking a closer look at what's around us. When we're taking a closer look, maybe we can see things that we hadn't seen before, or maybe we can see things in a new way. Our Bible story today is asking us to take a closer look into who Jesus is. We're in the book of Matthew, and when we pick up the story in chapter 16, Jesus has already been on the scene for a while. And people are wondering, who is this guy? He's doing miracles. He's feeding the poor. He's hanging out with all kinds of people the rest of the world look down on. He's teaching new things. Who is he exactly? So we read that Jesus was walking down the road and he asked his disciples, who do people say that I am? His disciples turned to each other and they didn't answer for themselves. They told him what other people were saying. They told him, some say you're John the Baptist. Others say Elijah. Others say Jeremiah or one of the prophets. That's what the disciples said. But let's say you asked people today, who is Jesus? You would probably hear a lot of different things too. Maybe some would say, he's a great teacher. Some people might say he's a great rabbi or preacher. People might see how he healed the sick and call him a doctor. People might say Jesus is love that he is the light of the world, that he is a shepherd for his people. People have a lot of different thoughts about who Jesus is. But let's go back to the story now. His disciples had given him answers of what others were saying, but then Jesus asked his disciples, but what about you? Who do you say I am? I wonder if the disciples were scared here. They were put on the spot. Maybe they didn't know exactly who Jesus is, or maybe they didn't want to say what they thought. But here, Jesus was asking them point blank, who do you say that I am? They had to answer for themselves. But then, after a moment, Peter spoke up. He too might have been scared or unsure, but he said this, you are the Messiah, 
the Son of the living God. Now, Jesus is many of those things we listed, but Peter recognized he is so much more. And here's the thing, you're invited to recognize the same thing. If you see that Jesus is the Messiah and ask him to be a part of your life, he can and he will continue to change your life forever. Now, Jesus went on to tell Peter that his answer was revealed to him by God and that Peter will be the rock that he would build the church on. Now, here's the thing about Peter. He wasn't perfect. He said some pretty wild things and made some pretty big mistakes, but he was honest and he wasn't scared to say what he was thinking or ask questions of Jesus or other people. Peter took a closer look at Jesus. He saw the way Jesus loved, the way he taught, the way he changed the world. Peter realized Jesus is the Messiah. We can learn a lot by being honest and asking questions just like Peter. You can talk with people about what you believe, especially talk with people in your life that you can trust, like your parents or your small group leaders. The more you talk about what you believe, the more you can learn from others and the more others can learn from you. That's it for today. I'll see you guys soon as we continue to take a closer look. So this lesson is out of Matthew and Jesus is asking and people are asking, who do you say I am, right? So Jesus is saying, who do you say I am? And people are really wanting to know who Jesus is because Jesus was a lot of things, right? And some people said he was a teacher or a great preacher, or John the Baptist, or Jeremiah. There were so many things about Jesus that people were looking at. He was different than everyone. So he wanted to know, who do you say I am? Now, here's the big question, okay? Jesus asked the disciples, okay? Because remember, everyone else was asking who Jesus was, but Jesus specifically asked the disciples, who do you say I am, okay? Because like I said before, and like we just watched, there were lots of people that thought a lot about Jesus, okay? But Jesus asked the disciples, who do you say I am? And Peter spoke up. Peter knew that Jesus was the Messiah, and he spoke up, and he told them. He said, you are the Messiah. Now listen, the cool thing about that is that we can do the same thing. We need to talk about what we believe. Because when we believe something and we talk about something, we are going to think about it more, right? But if we never talk about anything, if we don't talk about things with our friends or our family, then we're not, we're not going to be thinking about those things. And so you have to talk about what you believe. You have to ask questions, just like Jesus. Jesus asked a question, what do you believe? What do you say I am? Who do you say I am, right? And so when we do that, we're learning more. We're growing in our relationship with Jesus. We're learning in our knowledge of him. And so that's what Peter did. Peter knew you are the Messiah, Jesus. And he spoke up and he said it and he talked about it. And that's what we're learning about today. So in small group, you're going to go further in that. You're going to learn how do you talk about Jesus. So what I need you to do is I want you to bow your head and close your eyes with me. We're going to pray together. So. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this day and for this time. And Father, I just pray right now that through this lesson, we just learn how to be more comfortable talking about what we believe, talking about you, talking about who you are and what you've done in our lives, Father. And I pray right now that we just continue to seek you and to learn more about you as we go about our day. And about this week, I pray that we just continue to seek you and learn more. I pray that Kid Week is a blessing to everyone who's joining us this week. And it's in your name I pray. Amen. Raise the game. Come on, raise the game. Are you ready? He gives us everything we could ever need to love the world around us. Be a light in darkness He's with us every breath He's with us every step So we can leave fear in the dust behind us If you wanna raise the game He will give you strength To reach another level in Jesus' name If you wanna raise the game He will give you strength To reach another level in Jesus' name Making it loud, we're not afraid. We are moving up, 
world around us to be a light in darkness he's with us every breath he's with us every step so we can leave fear in the dust behind us if you want to raise the game he will give you strength to reach another level Guys, don't forget about our memory verse challenge. Remember, you're memorizing, videoing, sending it in, 100 families. I've been hearing this rumor that uh, Miss Lauren thinks that I'm gonna get slimed, and I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm not sure you guys are gonna get 100 families. Uh, are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? We'll see. We'll see if I get slimed or not, Miss Lauren. In all seriousness, here's the question for day three. What is God doing in your life right now? What is God doing in your life right now? Thing you've done. 
right, guys, you heard Afroshi. If 100 families send us a video of their kids with the verse memorized, okay, memorized, not cheating, not reading it, not looking at it from across the room, but memorized, the entire Kidman staff will get slimed. And I've been thinking about it. I think Afro, she would love to get slimed too. So if 100 of you do that, we'll slime him too, okay? So make sure you do that. We're going to create a Dropbox link and you'll see it on the website just where you're getting your videos. So it's gonna be super easy. But remember, you have the whole week to do it. Memorize your verse, okay? Now it's time to start day three of Kid Week. So parents, what you need to do is you need to get in your Kid Week kit. There's the instruction papers and the instruction videos. You're on your own now. We'll see you at closing.